Bloomberg Good Day New York. Joining us this morning, Brian Cox, who plays Logan Roy, the media tycoon himself, and Josh Littlejohn, who is also spearheading a very important campaign, the world's big sleep out. No, what you're doing is just so fantastic Amazing. on a global level um, to help combat homelessness. And tell us about this big sleep out. Yeah, so Brian's supporting us. He, I think he's coming back to the Edinburgh one. So basically what's happening is it's on Saturday the 7th of December. It's a big global fundraising and awareness raising campaign called the World's Big Sleep Out. We've got these big mass participation sleep out events happening in 52 cities all over the world, all on the same night. Um, so we've got one happening here in New York, which is going to be a big flagship event. And it's actually by some kind of miracle um, happening in Times Square. Star studded, right? Yeah, so it's a bit of a um, show element before people ultimately bed down. So we're going to have music, we're going to have genuine street musicians and buskers performing. And then we've managed to get uh, Will Smith uh, to come to Times Square and he's going to be telling all the participants a bedtime story. Fine. Uh, and then ultimately there's going to be about 2,000 people in Times Square sleeping out under those bright lights through till 6 or 7 in the morning. And each person that's participating will be raising money um, so hopefully we're aiming to raise several millions here in New York to benefit local charities here um, mm -hmm. as well as UNICEF internationally to help homeless people on the ground and, and throughout the world uh, and hopefully we're going to raise a lot of money all over the world. Brian, why did you want to get involved? Well, it's simple. I mean, it's, it's been hovering this, this whole thing and I was thinking about it because I was just trying to fit my crazy schedule together. But I remember a way back when I was a younger actor in the late 70s and early 80s, I worked at the National Theatre in London, and that was in Waterloo. And there was a big roundabout there, which is now an IMAX cinema, but in those days it was nowhere. And I saw right at the beginning of the Thatcher administration, so there's a clue, and uh, there was uh, suddenly there were these people sleeping. That had never been the case in London. In all my time, you know, because I worked, and I was a student in London, we never saw that. So suddenly from about 19, no, 1980 onwards, this thing of, I mean, I, you've always had a problem here. In fact, you've got more people homeless in New York now than in the Depression. It really is. It's, it's, sad it's what's really, going really on. bad. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I remember seeing this, and, and it was a phenomenon. There was about when I when we started, it was about fifty people. Because I used to, I would get the train and have to go. I'd have to walk past this place, and it was known as Cardboard City. And eventually, there was about three hundred people there, and it happened in a very quick time. And we now take it for granted, and we shouldn't. We really should not take it for granted because it is desperate and really bad. So you'll be in Edinburgh doing... Hopefully. Uh, we're just trying to work out the schedule yeah. now. Hopefully I'll, I'll fly up to Edinburgh. And, and so is that your hometown? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm actually from Dundee, the town that, uh, that Logan visited. Dun Logan and I come from the same city. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> that was, that, we don't know how that happened. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm Scott. So uh, while he's working uh, at the Lincoln Center, you're, uh, can people buy tickets for this job? Like, yeah. how can they get involved with this big sleep out. Well, thank you so much for asking. So, like, I want to make quite a direct appeal to New Yorkers because I know, okay. you know New York is a really compassionate place. Mm -hmm. um, and as Brian said, the issue now is worse since the Great Depression, uh, homelessness here in New York. So we want New Yorkers to come and take a stand around this issue by sleeping out on December the 7th. So they can do that by visiting bigsleepout.com and um, you can just register for the Times Square event. When you do, then you automatically be generated with a fundraising page and then you can ask your friends and your family or your work colleagues to sponsor you um, and hopefully we can raise a lot of money and really create a sense of political urgency around the issue through this and event you know this, Times Square. you know this started in Scotland? This whole thing started in Scotland. It was one, you know, and yeah. it's gone like that. And it's down to him. Well, thank you. Josh Littlejohn, thank you so much. Brian Cox, thank you very <laughs> Logan much. Logan Roy, I mean, <laughs> Brian Cox. <laughs> she confuses the two. So and LBJ, cool. President, Mr. President. You, you, you ought to know what it's like for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> A pleasure. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank Good you. day's coming right back.